hello you guys welcome back to another video i am currently sitting in traffic i'm on my way to get my hair done which i'm very nervous for but also excited it's already almost six well it's 5 45 my appointment is at six o'clock so i'm kind of tired and now don't really feel like going this is why i normally schedule my hair appointments for like a saturday morning when i have nothing else to do because it's the end of a long day and i'm tired but that's okay we're gonna get it done i don't even know what it's gonna look like because i feel like i want more like texture dimension to it and ultimately like the real goal is to get my hair healthy i just don't even know what it's gonna look like it's pretty grown out up here ideally i want it to be able to grow out and look like there's no line you know what i mean for it to just is that possible i don't know we're gonna determine it but i will update you when i'm done don't commit to everything for a long time you try it you test it I am home. I was gonna film in the car again and then it was literally pitch black outside. So you could not see and it is 9.30. This lighting is like funny, but here is the hair. Literally every time I'm like, my hair's gonna be darker and then it just looks lighter. But what she did do is more of like a shadow root, which is not something I normally get done. Um, so that then it kind of just like grows out really naturally. I bought some products. I actually am like out of my shampoo and conditioner. I just finished the Briagio shampoo and conditioner. So I asked for a recommendation and she recommended this shampoo and conditioner duo. I'm not gonna try and say that. And then a Kerastase purple shampoo. What, Rexy? Yeah? Probably would. So overall, we're happy. What do you think of my hair? Looks so good. You look so cute. I wish there was natural lighting so you could see it. I don't know. I'll show you guys tomorrow once it is like daylight again overall i'm happy with it i like the shadow root and then the like lighter here and she gave me kind of like bangs ish i always wear my hair down with these front pieces but before it was literally just my breakage so now i actually have i don't remember what this is called like a what is it called curtain bangs i think that's what it's called yeah now in this lighting my hair straight up looks white so we just can't i'll show you guys tomorrow I'm exhausted, honestly, and just want to go to bed. So I think we are going to watch some Outer Banks. We have been watching that lately. I started watching it like last summer when like literally everyone was watching it. And then <laughs> I was watching it by myself and I got scared. I thought it was kind of scary. I'm not good with scary shows. So I just keep touching my hair. So I stopped watching it after like four episodes and then Alec and I have picked it back up and been watching it together lately. We didn't watch any last night, so I think we're gonna do that and go to bed. There's like cat toys literally everywhere in here. They've got a little um, martini with an olive. <laughs> and let's see, we got a penguin. Yeah, literally cat toys everywhere. That is my life. They're just so cute. I buy more every time I go to Target. <laughs> Is that true? Are you spoiled? Are you spoiled? <laughs> she really looks pretty happy. <laughs> I'm zooming out on her face and she actually looks so mad and scared. She's just letting you do it though. Rex looks like he wants a turn. <laughs> she didn't like that. I'm so glad I got that camera. Good morning. Okay. So here we are with some natural lighting and you can see the what my hair actually looks like because it probably just looked like 
yellow in that lighting yesterday but you can definitely see like the root shadow and honestly this morning i like it like 10 times more than i did yesterday i'm like obsessed with it today i wasn't i mean i liked it a lot right afterwards but i was a little bit unsure because i didn't know if it looked like that different but now looking at it in the natural light and like how nicely the root shadow blends i love it and i feel so refreshed and so good and yeah so i don't know if i said this yesterday but i am gonna go back in like a month and get the root shadow touched up and she said that i should just keep keep up with that whenever i feel like if i'm getting starting to get a little bit of a line because even though it's like as dark as my roots, it might be a little bit of a different shade. It's a little bit more um, like ashy than my actual hair is. So I don't know, but you guys have probably heard enough about my hair. So I will stop talking about it, but I am very obsessed with it. And like my little bangs are the cutest thing ever, but it's really a pain that I can't put them back in a ponytail, but I feel like they're really cute. So that's the tea. As I'm drinking my coffee, I definitely will be going back to Rochelle. That was her name. I will link her Instagram below if you live in the Metro Detroit area and are interested. She is at Six Salon in Birmingham. So she was amazing. She was great. And her assistant was the Gigi was the cutest human ever. She's like so sweet and so fun and we were just like laughing as we were like the last people left in the salon last night so it was a good time since we are talking so much about hair and i just got my hair done i thought i would show you guys kind of my hair drawer in my bathroom and some of my favorite hair products this is probably like my craziest <laughs> drawer of all of them it often kind of gets unorganized but so in here i just have like hair ties bobby pins and then like eight million different clips and hair ties in here these are my all-time favorite hair ties the slip silk scrunchies and then i also have some of the bigger ones and then brushes i love this dry bar brush i've been using this one for a long time and i like it way more than any of like the wet brushes but as far as hair products and like my hair care routine so probably the product that i use <laughs> very very often is dry shampoo this living proof one is definitely one of my favorites um it is a little bit more expensive so if i'm you know just grabbing one from like the drugstore i often grab for this moroccan oil argan oil um ogx dry shampoo as well and then for hairspray which i don't use hairspray a ton but when I do use hairspray, I really like this Kenra volume spray, and this is in the strength 25. So they have a couple different um, strengths that I'll use. And then for products in my hair, this is like the newest product I've got that I am obsessed with because it smells so, so good. It's the Way Leave-In Conditioner. And where is... I was using the Briagio leave-in conditioner, and this one did work really well. I like it, but I heard really good things about this Way one, so I just picked this up, and it smells so, so good. I am already a big, big fan. So I use that right when I get out of the shower, and then I also use this by Kerastase when I get out of the shower. It is like a heat protectant for blonde hair specifically. So I use this one more so like for before I blow dry my hair. But then if I'm going to curl my hair, I will use this Bumble and Bumble BB Glow Thermal Protectant Mist because this one is good for um, putting on dry hair and that also smells really good. And then at night, um, before I go to bed, this Kerastase product is something I've been using for a while that is supposed to be good for breakage. It is like a serum that I put right on my roots. I don't do this every night because it does make my hair look kind of greasy in the morning. So I'll do this more so on like the third night or when I know I'm going to wash my hair in the morning. 
And then almost every night I put this Moroccan oil on it and it, this is the Moroccan oil um, light treatment. This again smells really good and yeah, I just rub this through the ends of my hair in the nighttime and I don't find that it makes it too oily. That's why I have the light one because that is more so for like fine hair. Um, and then kind of last thing that I love but I don't use every day is the Olaplex products. This one is number eight. And then I also have and love number three. And I will use these as treatments maybe like once a month or when I remember. And you can use them separately or you can use them like both at the same time. So that is it. I have a couple other things that I do like. I really like the Briagio scalp mask and conditioning mask. I've talked about those before. But overall, those are like my absolute favorite go-to hair products. One thing I am looking for is a good new texture spray. I've been using this um, Kristen S one and it works fine, but I don't really notice a huge difference. So if anyone has any recommendations for something that will give my hair like some texture and volume, um, either straight or curled, I would be happy to take those recommendations. And bonus points if it smells really good. I know I have talked about my um, Bondi Sand self tanner that I love on here, but I actually just got this in the mail sent to me by San Tropez um, and I'm super excited to try it. So they sent over a one hour express bronzing mousse. Oh wait, so one hour is light, two hours mediums, three hours dark. So honestly, I'll probably leave it on for like three hours. So I think I'm gonna try this today. I'm super excited. I mean, I feel like everyone loves San Tropez. I have actually never used this one before though. So I'm excited to try it and then also the mitt with it, which I honestly really needed a new mitt and it looks really like soft, which I love with a tanning mitt. And then I'm so excited to try these. They are like face tanning drops. Um, if it'll focus, it says glow boosting vitamin C and D. It's supposed to give your face just like a natural tan. And then this I had never heard of and I thought was so cool. It is a tan remover. So, you know, when you like get on your arm, like a terrible like line right there or something and it looks really bad. Well, apparently you can just use the remover and remove it, which I'm like, why did I not even know this was a thing? Cause I definitely have had that where like, I'll have a spot of my self tanner that looks bad. So I'm super excited to try these and I'll let you know. I think I'm gonna do it today because I am looking kind of pale right now. Okay, so I just left the tan on for like two hours, which says I'll get like a medium color, and it said right after I shower it off, it'll be light, which like I already look really tan, but I think that's partially because I was also already really tan like right before. <laughs> I honestly don't need it that badly right now, but it said over the next eight hours, it will like continue to darken. So it doesn't look like I have any lines. Like it went on really nicely and I'm excited to see what it turns out looking okay. like. Time for a tan update. It has been like 12 hours or so now and I am looking, okay, it's making a weird line on my foot, but I swear there's not one. I think it's just like the shadow but I'm looking very tan. I literally got a comment at the yoga studio today that I was looking really tan. So honestly, it looks so natural. Won't focus on my arm. Um, and it looks so good. And it's weird, you, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell in this lighting, but it's actually like has sparkle in it too. There we go. Okay, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it actually has like shimmer in it too. I think you can kind of tell there. I feel like it makes me look very glowy and very tan and overall went on really easily and it smells really good right out of the package and I actually have not noticed that I have that like self tanner smell today that I feel like you usually do get or at least I definitely get with the Bondi Sands one I'm using so overall I would recommend I feel like this looks really good. I will definitely be using it in the fall and winter when I don't already have a natural tan too. Raining quite a bit out 
and our power keeps like flickering going in and out but yeah not great something about like when it's rainy and dark out i feel like just makes the room extra cozy <laughs> you guys quit arguing do you just both need to be fed worry run away if you don't want him to attack you no she is so initiating it she is fine Anyways, I was just saying that it like has been raining so much this summer and while the rain is a pain, I feel like it makes everything just cozier. Hey guys, happy Friday. It is like 5.30, we have dinner reservations in about an hour, but I, before I get ready, I'm trying to quick do a little packing. I am leaving tomorrow morning to go stay with my friend Bella in Grand Rapids at her house. Um, she's like a friend from college that I have not seen in absolutely forever now that I live over on this side of the state. She lives over on the west side of the state. So super excited, but I have no idea what to bring. I got a package from Revolve today of a few things that I didn't need, but that I ordered that I'll show you really quickly. I don't know if I'm going to end up bringing them, but she sent me like an itinerary of what we were doing and we might go to the pool. And so I wanted a new beach cover up. So I ordered these two cover ups from Revolve that I will try on and show you guys. Um, this one is kind of like a dress long shirt that cinches in the middle and then this one is like a cover-up But it's like a white long dress and so Yeah, I'm not sure what to do about that And then this was not really for this weekend more so just for fall it is like this blazer And I like it, but I can't decide if it looks like it's like a trench coat because it's oversized and this color and the material and I don't know if that's really the look I was going for so that's what I got from Revolve, but otherwise I'm just gonna pack like dinner outfit, bathing suit, whatever, but I'm gonna do that really quickly and then I need to get ready to go to dinner tonight. Okay, so this is the first cover up. I just put on a bathing suit underneath it. I didn't button all of these because it's kind of a lot of buttons, which is a little bit of a pain, but I feel like it's really cute I think I like it. My only complaint is that it's kind of wrinkly. And since I'm about to throw it in a suitcase, this is my beach bag, it's definitely going to get even more wrinkly, but I don't know. I do feel like it's really cute and easy to just throw on. And then also, I already buttoned it, but it would be cute to just like wear open as well. Okay, and then this is option number two, which I do feel like is quite a bit more formal looking, but I also feel like it's cute. It's got this nice little like side slit here and would be really cute with like a big hat and some sandals. Like I like it. I don't know if it's what I want for this weekend. But I kind of don't want to get rid of it, but it is really see-through. Like I'm wearing this white pattern bikini and you can like clearly see it through. So I don't know if that's just not that practical. I don't know. We'll ask second opinion. Okay, this one that I just had on, the long one is vitamin A. And I was gonna try and see what it's called, but I'll link it for you. And then this one is L Space. And I feel like I'm gonna end up keeping this one just because I think it's a lot more practical. I just like threw on some jeans to see what this blazer would look like. I'd imagine putting this with like black booties or something in the fall. This is just like a little cropped turtleneck tank top, but I don't know. What does it look like a coat? I feel like I think it's really cute. 
it's not really what I was going for, but maybe I still like it. I don't know. I'm like sweating now wearing this though. I need to change and get ready for dinner really quick. It's so hot out. Okay, here's the dinner outfit. My hair is still in this clip because we ran out of time, but I just curled these front little bangs that I have now and we're running late, so I gotta go. Do my bag. Thank you. Hello. Okay, I believe I am all packed. Finally got everything all together and I think I'm gonna have to bring a backpack too because I literally could not fit everything in. Room is a mess, but I think I'm about ready to go. I literally had to like try on every single outfit I'm gonna wear so that I could like minimize the amount I was bringing because really I'm pretty impressed that I fit everything in this bag, but I am later than I thought I was gonna leave. It's already 11. 20. So I gotta get going heading to Bella's. Um, I don't think I'm really gonna vlog this weekend because I haven't seen Bella in like a year and just want to spend time, you know, with her. But I'll update you guys where I can. And I will talk to you later. <laughs>